cuacanya. Yeah.
Baking watermelon fizz with Rabadon boba, and yes, I know, there's no tea or milk in it. The first thing you're gonna want to do is slice up some watermelon and freeze it. I went with the yellow watermelon, but you can get the regular pink one, it's totally fine. You can find Rabaton at most Asian markets. If they don't have it fresh, they'll have it in the canned aisle. If you're using the canned ones, just drain out the syrup and use them as is. For the boba, blend sugar, rambutan, and tapioca starch, then add a little food coloring if you want. Cook it till it's thick and gloopy, and add in the rest of the starch, then roll out the pearls. Now boil them until they're chewy, rest them for 20 minutes, and drain them once they're done resting, then cook them with some more rambutan. For the drink, just blend watermelon, sparkling water, and if you want to add sugar, you can. Welcome to Milk Tea Monday. I wanted to try something different. So I tried making coffee flavored boba with Dalgona. For the boba pearls, combine coffee, white sugar, and tapioca starch. Then once that thickens up on low heat, you can add in another cup of tapioca starch and mix it until it gets nice and smooth. If you want to make the boba a different color, add food coloring in at the beginning, before it gets thick. Once you're done making the pearls, cook them as you normally would, but while they're resting, you're going to make your Dalgona. I'm not a huge fan of coffee, so I added a little more sugar than I actually said I did. I tried three different methods, and I found this one to be the easiest, and the fastest. After the pearls are done resting, make sure you drain them and cook them in sugar to sweeten them, and then assemble your drink, and that's it. Welcome to Milk Tea Monday. Today we're going to make black sugar boba. Start off by making super strong black tea of your choice. I don't know how much water I used, but I used 10 bags of tea, and I used black sugar. You're gonna get a much deeper flavor with this sugar rather than just dark brown sugar. You can find it at most Asian markets. For the boba, I used homemade black sugar boba with a little drop of black food coloring. And after it was chewy, I cooked it with a little more of that black sugar. And I also used it to sweeten the tea. To make this drink a little more rich, you could use condensed milk, coconut milk, or heavy cream. 